Hey guys, it's Jen from iCreateCrafts. In today's video, I will be showing you how to easily find an image on Google and download it into your Design Space Pro program. I already have Google open here and I have Design Space open here. So I'm gonna start in Google and search for an image. This particular image, I'm just gonna search for fall leaves since it's close to autumn. So I'm just gonna type in fall leaves. But every time I find an image, I always type in SVG after it. So I'm just gonna look for a leaf. So the next thing that I do actually is I go on images because I'm looking for a free image. I don't wanna use an image that has a background on it or a watermark or something that says in stock that you should be buying. I'm just looking for something that's free that I can use on my own. So I'm just searching for one that doesn't have any of those with the background, like I said, or the watermark or anything. So let's just find one here. Like this one, for instance. This one does not have a watermark or anything behind it or any color. So I'm actually going to right click on it. I'm going to open new tab. I always like to look to make sure that they don't have anything in the background. And as you can see, this has the tile already in the background. So I'm going to save this one. I right click, save image as, and I'm just going to type leave. And I can see it's on my desktop. Desktop. You can change it to wherever you want. You can put it to your downloads. You can put it onto your desktop. You can put it onto your whatever you want. So you can just save it. And here it is right here up here. I just saw it. So I'm going to go in design space. I'm going to click on upload. And there's two ways you can do this. So I'll show you the first way. So I'm going to upload image. I'm going to go up to here where I knew it downloaded it. And I'm just going to pull it over and put it in here. And here it is. It already named it for me. It's leaf. So I'm going to save it. So I'll show you the other way. So you do it the same way. You upload image and then you can go to browse. So this is where it comes in, where you've saved it onto uh, your drive. So I know it was in the desktop. So I'll go into desktop and I know it was called leaf and then an SVG. So here it is here. So you can open it and it's going to give you the same image that we just used. So again, I can just save it. I'll have two of the same images. Here's the two leaves. So it says uploaded. You can click on it you will see it down here at the bottom and then you can insert image and here's your leaf it's obviously way too big so I'm actually gonna shrink my screen here so we can see it and I'll just drag it and make it smaller make my screen bigger and here it is you can do anything you want with it now you can change the color if you want you can rotate it if you want whatever you like to do with it if you want to change the color you just select it go up to your little color box up here and you can change it I'll do this to red but you can do whatever you want with this you can duplicate it if you want you can make it smaller if you want but that is how you do it so I will show you another one really quick so I'm still in Google I'm gonna X out of this one I'm gonna go up to the top and then I'm just gonna type in black cat and then again SVG is what I do make sure it's on the images and then I look through these. You wanna make sure it doesn't say in stock or that anybody's selling it or that there's a watermark behind it. It's like this one right here, you can see a faint watermark behind it. So I do not wanna use that one. You are free to use designs or anything that people have on here, but you have to use it for personal use. You can't resell it and you can't sell the image itself. So I'm just looking for one really quick that would be um, usable in Design Space. I'm not looking for one that has different colors because you can do that in Design Space on your own. I also don't like the ones that have the back um, part here, the checkerboard, because that will not work in Design Space. So that's also another one I'm not looking for. So I'm going to try this one. This one's kind of cute. So again, I'm going to right click, open new tab, and I'm just going to see sometimes this checkerboard doesn't always work. So I'm going to go ahead and try this one and just show you guys. So I'm going to right click on it, save image as, and then I'm just going to type cat because that's what I know it is. Again, it's going into my desktop. I'm going to save it. Go back in design space here. You can do it two ways. Like I said, you could upload it from right here or you can browse it. So I just like to drag it. So here it is. I'm going to drag it in. It's already got the background for me. I'm going to click on simple because it's just one color and I'm gonna continue. And it already fills in all of my little uh, backboard that I need on here, little checkerboard. 
So I'm going to continue and here is the image. And here it gives you two options. You can save and print and then cut your image or you can save and cut image. This is what I always do. I always save and cut. I've never printed anything on my printer before yet with Cricut. So I always just do it this way and then I'm going to save it. And again, here it is. It says uploaded. It shows me it down here. I'm going to insert image and here it is. So I can shrink it. I'm going to shrink my screen again. I can show you. I'll shrink it down to size, bring my screen back up, and you can do the same thing like I said before. You can rotate it, you can change colors if you want, you can duplicate it, you can make it smaller if you want, you can do whatever you want with it, you can change its color, you can always make it, let's see, a brown color if we want, but it is that simple. I hope this tutorial helped you out. If you have any questions, please leave them below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. And happy crafting, everyone.